Hello, I'm Ray Heron from Moto NZ, and here we are at TSS Motorcycles in Lower Hutt. I've popped in, I've got to see Jimmy. I said, Jimmy, I need a bike, and he said, absolutely, I'll sort you out. My only stipulate, stipulation was that it was something fun. So we're gonna go in and see what he's got for me. These guys, Triumph, KTM, Suzuki, Indian, huge upstairs gear area, parts and apparel. So, um, and they've got heaps of bikes in stock, plus they do full servicing. Let's go and see what we've got to ride today. Okay, we have the machine. You can see it, it's awesome. Uh, this is Jimmy. Jimmy is uh, one of the dealer principals. Yes. I said, Jimmy, I need a bike for the day and make it fun. This is fun. You're gonna have a lot of fun on this. This is real fun. 180 horsepower, 180 odd kgs. Um, Triumph triple torque, all the bells and whistles, quick shifter, both directions, uh, different ride modes, all in suspension front and back, race deck RR tyres, and it's, there's nothing more fun. Look at that. Triumph Speed Triple RS. Whoa. Okay, <laughs> I'm underway. I'm on the Triumph Speed Triple RS. This, believe it or not, is the first time I've ever ridden a uh, sport bike. A proper all-out sport bike. And this thing is bristling. You can feel it. It's ridiculously smooth with, this, with the triple banger engine. There's no vibrations whatsoever. And of course that European build quality in there as well, but holy crap. Oh, so I'm trickling along in second gear, 3000 revs. Oh, my hands are low compared to what I'm used to. It is a sport bike, the seat is high. The seat is probably almost as high as my Centre 700. Believe it or not. Stop for this ambulance. We got a quick shifter up and down. I got 1200cc of power from that triple banger engine. Uh, I've got bar end mirrors, which are actually, oh, hello. Where's my horn? You weren't even looking. The brakes feel fucking amazing. Uh, okay, so yeah, back to the mirrors. Uh, very, very usable, even on the bar ends. Um, the bars are low, but are still reasonably wide. Maybe not as wide as an adventure bike, but I mean, it is a sport bike. I'm saying things because I'm feeling them, but they're not necessarily making sense. It has rider modes. It's got some pretty ridiculous power. Uh, I'm told if I put it into rider configurable, there's no trash control. It'll wheel stand, it'll light up the rear wheel, it'll do all sorts of crazy stuff. Right, let's get on the motorway. I have no screen. The pigs are very high. <laughs> oh yeah, this thing goes. This is cool. Triumph Speed Triple RS. Quick stats about this bike. 1,160cc inline triple. Something like 117 horsepower, 78 newton meters of torque. Quick shifter. Ride modes. It's an inline triple engine. The seat is about 830mm off the ground. The 
bars are quite low and I love this bike I really do I think it's an awesome bike why do I love it okay the seat is high it's um I can just flat foot it it's almost perfect height for me um, it's almost adventure bike height but so the seats high the pegs are high the bars are low it's full race uh, stance uh, it's got some beautiful twin Brembo Stylema calipers on the front 330 mil discs single 220 mil disc down back with two pot Brembo caliper on the back six speed gearbox and it's got long legs this thing goes man um, you cruise around at 50 k's in first or second it's almost too low revs but it's still got the power seat is soft and comfortable and contoured it's nice the mirrors are barring mirrors but very usable very usable full color tft display still getting to grips with uh, not having to pull the clutch in to change the gears it is nimble man it is so nimble it just wants to go into those corners at full attack i'm doing 50 k's an hour in second about three and a half thousand revs and uh it just wants to lean in wants to go i'm going up uh a hill out the back of wellington at the moment and um well I'm, i keep i keep breaking the speed limit because the bike just wants to wants to be let loose it doesn't feel savage doesn't feel aggressive until you open the throttle and oh yeah oh yeah it goes it goes man this motorcycle is a beacon of shining light in an otherwise in a sea of motorcycling mediocrity this thing feels lively it feels snappy to the point it just wants to get up and boogie it's got a slip assist clutch which means it's not aggressive at low revs when you want to um, pull away feels like a cable clutch um, but hydraulic brakes I'm just riding through some reasonably tight hilly corners in Wellington and it uh, it doesn't feel unruly it doesn't feel like it's out of out of its place it, it still feels comfortable to ride around town we'll go up here I think $31,000 gets you this bike in um, in base mo in base form plus on roads of course second gear I won't tell you my speed <laughs> uh, how do I get one of these in my garage I've definitely ridden less accommodating less comfortable bikes up this hill and for a 1200 this is great this is really like some bikes you know they put a smile on your face but you don't realize how much you're enjoying it this bike i'm actually grinning from ear to ear i went um i contacted uh jimmy one of the dealer principals at TSS motorcycles in lower hut and I said Jimmy I need a bike for the day and my only stipulation is that it's fun and I said to him I'll leave the definition of fun up to you and I got there this morning and I said to him what are we riding and he goes mate you can have your pick you can have a Triumph Rocket 3 you can have a Speed Triple RR you could have an Indian you could have a KTM you can have a Suzuki if you want. And I said, dude, 
I'm liking the look of the Triumphs. I want something quintessentially Triumph, which means it had to be a triple. And he said, okay, well, I think you're, I think you're leaning towards the uh, Speed Triple RS and Speed Triple RR. And I... I don't know. The RR is a cool bike, but I just like the look of the RS. I love the twin headlights. I used to think these bikes looked unfinished, but uh, I'm definitely thinking differently of them now. Okay, let's have a look at this bike. Oled suspension, fully adjustable, chain driven. The thing you notice though about this bike is it's just so smooth. I mean, I've ridden 1200cc bikes before. They've never been this nice. They've never been, they've never had this, this you know, this level of manners just easy smooth that is the one the one massive takeaway of this bike is that it's so smooth it's got loads of power on tap but it is just ridiculously smooth and there's no jerkiness from the throttle uh, the tank fits beautifully between my knees I think we've got a 15 litre fuel tank. 1160cc of engine, I think you're gonna chew through that gas pretty quickly. Maybe it's better I don't have one of these. Cause this bike is the angry little monkey on your shoulder. It's the devil sitting up there going, go, go, go on, wind it on, go faster, do it. And I would get in trouble. But holy crap, I love this bike. I really do. You know, I get to ride so many bikes. Such a privileged position. But sometimes you're just trying to find something positive to say about a bike. Um, this one, everything is great. It feels so awesome. But the negative... I mean, the, yeah, the lean forward position, you either hate it, you either love it or you hate it. It would get painful after a long ride, I imagine. You wouldn't want to do it forever. But I could do this for a couple of hours. I don't know if I could ride this all the way to Invercargill from Wellington. But I could do it for a couple of hours. Being such a nimble machine and, you know, leaned over the front wheels so much, it leans over easily. And I can imagine being an easy bike to drop. You want to have your wits about you on this bike. That's for sure. What else can I tell you about this bike? I love the exhaust tone. Oh, it's been, it's been something about Triumph in the last, say, three years that's really drawn me in. I think maybe it's the the thing the thing that I used to like about Yamaha that Yamaha kind of have lost a little bit. It's the prestige. It's not necessarily doing something for the money but because they know it's the right thing to do and that riders will love it. I was on the Yamaha website, uh, Yamaha, I was on the Triumph website earlier on today and I looked at this bike in 30, 30,995 plus on-road costs. And then of course you can configure the bike to suit you and all the little optional extras that you might want to put on it. And the optional extras that I put on it only brought the bike to about 33 and a half plus on-roads which was cool it was it's reasonable it's not crazy money and you are getting a beautiful ride for that money i've heard people say that these um that the suspension on this rs model is not as good as the suspension on the rr model I've also heard that the RS model suspension is getting an upgrade. It's probably going to get the suspension from the RR in the next 
a uh, few months, I'd say. But the ride from this suspension is is really good. This the Olin shock really soaks up a lot. It's not plush; it's still firm, but it's it's um yeah, it's really nice. It feels connected to the road. You run over a cat's eye or a manhole cover, you're not going to get your back realigned. The gear shifter up is solid. Down is a little spongy, if I'm honest. But i got to say a massive thank you to TSS Motorcycles in Lower Hutt for lending me this bike for the day. Really appreciate it. It's a lot of bike to just give to someone and let them go out for a hoon on. Right. We're going to go through for a tunnel run. Get out onto the motorway. And head up to the hut to drop it back. Not that I really want to drop it back. The lean forward sport bike stance does get a bit heavy on the wrists after a while. I would put up with it to ride this bike. I love it! So that is pretty much the Triumph Speed Triple RS. It looks fantastic. I love it. The TFT display. You've got rider modes. You've got cruise control. You've got brakes that are outstanding. A seat that is comfortable. But you've still got the high pegs, high seat, low bars of a sport machine is this the bike that's been missing from my life maybe if your budget doesn't quite go to 31 grand though maybe maybe the street triples a, a, a cheap cheaper substitute might have to ride one huh yeah thank you very much jimmy tss motorcycles if you're ever in Wellington and want to check out some bikes, they've got a huge showroom. They do KTM, Triumph, um, Indian, Suzuki, uh, a massive parts and apparel area upstairs, loads of new and used bikes in the showroom downstairs, and a full workshop as well. I really appreciate your support, guys. <laughs> this bike is fantastic. Otherwise, that wraps up the video. Thank you so much for watching. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. And I'll bring you more motorcycling content as I can.